First we'll mix one cup of flour swap, half a cup of powdered sugar swap, one tablespoon of organic matcha powder, and one fourth teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Make sure your salt is finely ground and not coarse. You might want to use your hands just to make sure all the little lumps of powdered sugar swap are broken up before mixing in our butter swap. One half cup of butter swap. And make sure you mix your butter swap really well when you get it out of the container. So all of that olive oil is blended with the almond butter. Mix your wet and dry ingredients well. And I like to get in here with clean hands. The heat from your hands will also help incorporate the butter swap into the flour and sugar. Now a shortbread cookie is always gonna have a little more dry, crumbly type dough, but if it's too dry, we're gonna add just a little extra co melted coconut oil or a little extra virgin olive oil into our dough until we can get it to stick together well. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of vanilla extract. It's gonna help cut that green tea flavor and just offer a little extra bottom end vanilla with the green tea. It's also gonna help our dough come together a little bit better. Most likely isn't gonna need the olive oil. So again, I'm just gonna mix this with my hands really good. So see how I can squeeze and it comes together? This is gonna make a perfect shortbread crust. I'm mixing a batch up made with the whole grain flour swap as well. So you can just see how the dough handles a little bit differently. The flavor will be a little bit different. Equal or equally delicious though. This one's gonna have the oats and buckwheat, psyllium husk, and have a little more earthy grain flavor. It's gonna have a few extra healthy carbs, but very slowly digesting. So still very good for the digestion and uh, more balancing to the body. We have our half a cup of butter swap going in our whole grain cookies. Our one tablespoon of vanilla. Probably think that's a lot, but vanilla is going to add the flavor. So we can't skimp on vanilla. And again, we're going to get on in here with our clean hands. Really work that dough together. Break up any little lumps or bumps in the powdered sugar swap. And then we'll decide if we need to add a little extra olive oil or avocado oil or coconut oil any healthy oil to our mixture. But a lot of times just the heat from your hands can help the dough come together. Just to make our lives a little easier, I'm gonna roll up these cookies. I feel like it needs a little oil. So I want it to stick together pretty well. Go ahead and make your dough balls. By really pressing it together, the heat from your hands is gonna make it stick. And I'm making mine about an inch big. The only real time consuming part of this shortbread is making your balls, but it's gonna be worth it. So this is the whole grain. I'm gonna bake these at 325 degrees for somewhere between 18 and 20 minutes. My grain-free dough got a little dry as it was sitting when I was making my other cookies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a little avocado oil. I'm just going to re-moisten it. It's going to help it be extra crumbly and crunchy when they're done. These grain-free matcha cookies, I'm going to bake at 325. And it's going to be a little shorter. Remember, the grain-free flour is coconut, almonds, psyllium husk. And because of the coconut and almonds, it's a little more delicate flour can burn easier. So I'm gonna watch these guys a little more closely and I'm gonna set the timer for about 16 or 17 minutes. And I'll check on the top should be cracked. You should see the bottom start to get golden. And then we'll remove them from the oven and let them cool on the pan until they're completely cool. So shortbread cookies, 
are very delicate until they're completely cool. They're, they'll be nice and crumbly and crunchy after they've been out of the oven for a couple hours. And then we'll transfer them to the refrigerator to chill overnight, just like all detox desserts. Here are my whole grain swap matcha cookies. I might have overcooked just a little bit. They're not burnt though, they'll be fine. Okay, grain free came out of the oven. They're also a beautiful shade of green. You can see they do look a little bit different than the whole grain, which have the cracks on the top. But once they're both cool, they'll both be nice and crumbly and sweet. Mm. Well, since it's St. Patrick's Day, I thought it'd be fun to roll these in some just light green powdered sugar. So I mixed about an eighth of a teaspoon of matcha powder in with a fourth cup of powdered sugar swap. And then I'm just gonna roll each cookie while they're still just a little bit warm in this powdered sugar. So I've got my matcha infused powdered sugar swap and they look so cute, beautiful. All right, that was so fun and easy. We've got our little matcha snowball cookies. Let's break one open. Oh, beautiful. Mmm, those are really good.